Let's talk about the problem of disinformation and COVID-19. As an editor of the Journal of Infectious Diseases, I can tell you there is a huge amount of misinformation out there. We have a misinformation epidemic along with a viral epidemic. Let's examine two of the most frequent misconceptions. Hydroxychloroquine is effective against SARS-CoV-2 virus. It is a safe drug. Therefore, even if it doesn't work, what do you have to lose? What did this study show so far? There has been one small controlled clinical trial which has shown no benefit. There is a large observational trial that has found that treatment with this drug doubles mortality. A second misconception is that we don't need to wear masks. Masks are for liberals and sissies. They are for scaredy cats. The fake news is it's been exaggerating the dangers of COVID-19. It's just another flu. Careful epidemiologic studies reveal that this virus is highly contagious, twice as contagious as influenza, and being spread by droplets when we cough, when we sneeze, and even when we speak. Furthermore, 40 to 60% of people who are infected have minimal or no symptoms. Both you and those infected don't know they are carrying the virus. Masks worn by those who are infected and by those who could become infected will block the spread. It may not be 100% effective, but at a minimum, masks will reduce the level of exposure. Exposure to lower levels of virus usually will translate into milder disease. Remember studies reveal that COVID-19 is 5 to 35 times more deadly than influenza. Do you really want to end up in the intensive care unit on a respirator? Do you really want to infect others? Let's look at the consequences of disinformation. When we know the true facts about protecting ourselves and others, we can create a protective bubble that prevents us from contracting the virus. When we listen to unreliable sources, such as social media, politicians, comment and commentators who doubt and criticize infectious disease experts and discount their messages, we are popping the protective bubble by ignoring scientifically informed guidelines and increasing the likelihood that we and our family members will become infected. Information, disinformation is not only wrong, it is dangerous. Listen to the infectious disease experts. They have no ulterior motives. Their goal is to save your life and the lives of everyone in our society. Can I count on you to fight disinformation? Thank you.